Hello again, everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, your man from Movie Picks, and here we are in part six of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. Now, here in part six, what we want to talk about is a key principle in editing and doing post production on your videos. And that is the principle of keyframing. Keyframing, you'll find it not only in Premiere Elements, you'll find it in Premiere Pro, you'll find it in After Effects, you'll find it in virtually every video editing program because Keyframing is a way to raise the level of your effects, to create certain animations, to control your effects so that they change over time. Now the basic principle of keyframing is that you set the levels or positions of an effect at two or more specific points on your timeline and the program will provide the transition or animation between those points. And this works for levels of audio as well as for video effects. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to create a simple pan and zoom over a photo by creating two keyframes that represent size and position. The pan and zoom is the animation from keyframe to keyframe. And let me show you what I mean. I've got a slideshow here on the timeline and I'm going to select one photo, this photo of the little boy eating cake. And then I'm going over to the right hand side of the toolbar on the right and I'm selecting the edit effects or the effects control panel. That's the FX button with a pencil on it. And here in effects control, I'm going to open up the keyframe controller. That's where you create the keyframes for effects. To do that, I just go over to the upper right hand corner and click on the stopwatch. And that opens up the keyframe controller panel. It's not very big here, so I'm going to widen this panel by grabbing on the seam and dragging it out. Now I've got a little more room to work. Let me just change the position on the timeline here so we can see the photo we're working with. I'll move the playhead to the very beginning of this clip or this photo and I'll create my initial keyframe or the initial starting point for my pan and zoom. To do that I just change the scale. I'm going to click on the number which is 100% and I'm just going to click and drag over that to make the picture just a little bigger in the frame. And then I'm going to toggle on the keyframes or toggle on the animation to create the initial keyframes for this particular position and scale. To do that, I'm just going over here to the little stopwatches to the left of position and scale. And you notice it creates these little diamond shaped keyframes on the keyframe controller timeline. So this represents this position and this scale for this photo. Now we'll move the playhead out about three quarters of the way through the picture. And I'll change scale just by clicking and dragging across the scale, which is now at 106%, clicking and dragging to zoom in a little bit on the boy's face. And then I can change position by changing these position numbers on the effect control panel. Or I can click to select motion on the effects control panel. And now I can click and drag right on the monitor panel here on the left and just drag it into the position I want. This is, will be my final position and my final zoom for my pan and zoom. And you can see there's a little blue line across the screen that represents the pan and zoom motion. And you notice that automatically created on the keyframe controller are new keyframes representing this new position and scale setting. And that's really it. Now the program is going to create the pan and zoom or the animation between the initial position and scale, we'll drag the playhead back to that, and this final position and scale. And I can see what it looks like just by clicking on the play button. There's my pan and zoom. Now the principle is pretty basic, it's pretty simple, but with it, like I said, you can create a lot of really cool effects. You can control levels of your audio at specific points. You can create effects and transitions that are animated. And of course, you can create your own custom pans and zooms over photos and over video. That's keyframing. Keep your eyes open. You'll see opportunities to use it throughout the program. It is the key to higher power and creating cool special effects with both audio and video in Premiere Elements. But come on back in part seven, we're going to take a look at creating titles and of putting some finishing touches here on our movie before we finally output it. That's coming up in part seven. Hope you'll join me for that.